I've been opening car doors wrong all my life, and so have you. I'm going to commit a criminal offence. The fine is a thousand pounds. Watch this. Did you spot it? Did you get it? I'll do it again. It's important to note that I'm a trained professional. Don't try this at home. Did you spot it? You see, there's a legal way and an illegal way to open your car door. I didn't know any of this till just the other day. I genuinely have been opening car doors wrong my entire life. Which means if you're watching this video, maybe you have too. So there's two parts to this, a bit that you know and a bit that you don't know. Let's do the bit you know first. The first part is common sense under rule 239 of the Highway Code and section 105 of the Road Vehicle Regulations Construction and Use Act 1986. Before getting out of your car, before opening the door, you need to look around to make sure that there's no oncoming bikes. To make sure that you're not going to hit anything. Well, two Hamilton cyclists faced serious injuries after they slammed into a car door which opened in front of them. It's called Doring, and it was all caught on camera. Sebastian Vettel and Fireman Sam have got to look around. You don't want to open your door and hit a passing pedestrian or a bicyclist or a motorbicyclist or a kangaroo. Here's the bit you might not know. You're sitting in your car. You're about to open the door. Which hand do you use to open the door? Which hand do you use to open your door? On the car? Yeah. Which hand would you use? Be right. Which hand do you use to open it? Which hand would you use to open the door? Which hand do you use to open the car door? Which hand do you use to open the door? Always use the hand furthest from the door. It's called the Dutch Reach Rule and it's very simple. You always use the hand furthest from the door to open the door. So if you live in America, the right hand is the right hand and the left hand is the wrong hand. If you live in the United Kingdom, the left hand is the right hand and the right hand is the wrong hand. Simple, really. Always use the hand furthest from the door. That's the Dutch Reach Rule, even if you're a passenger, even if you're a child. As Eric Viana reports, this common accident is easy to prevent. Think about using the Dutch Reach. Do the Dutch Reach. Let's all do the Dutch Reach. The Dutch Reach. You should always use Dutch Reach. Dutch Reach method. The Dutch Reach to make sure you are watching out for cyclists on shared roads. Do as the Dutch do. The Dutch Reach. Let's do the Dutch Reach. Honestly, I didn't know any of this till the other day. A client walked in who'd opened their car door and hit a pedestrian. I read the Highway Code and the Road Vehicle Regulations 1986. That's what I do. I'm a lawyer. I read boring documents. Reading all those documents didn't make a blind bit of difference. The officer in the case didn't ask the client which hand he'd used to open the door. Unfortunately, I misjudged you. You are just a stupid policeman. It was a complete waste of time. It's called the Dutch Reach Rule because it comes from the Netherlands. Over there, it's part of the driving test. In Holland, everybody owns a bike. There's more bikes than cars and they're very conscious about how to keep all those cycling journeys safe. If you open your car door with the hand furthest from the door, it forces you to look behind you. That keeps cyclists safe. It prevents accidents. Cycling UK reckon every year between 300 and 500 cyclists are hit by people inadvertently opening car doors into cyclists. Sadly, tragically, around two of those every year. I'm afraid so. 
pizza delivery worker riding his bike into the open door of an SUV. While the oh. worker was on the ground with paramedics, a cop says to him, he's getting a ticket for not riding in the bike lane. Say what? Boy was cycling down Lock Street with his partner on April 8th when all of a sudden, a door got in their way. Three, two, one. That's my Bugatti. Cycling groups here in the UK have been pushing for the adoption of the Dutch Reach for years. Government always resisted. And then the ironic hand of English destiny played its best card. In 2016, Chris Grayling, MP, was sitting in traffic outside the Palace of Westminster. Guess what he did? Yes, that's right. He did. Bingo, that's right. 10 points. Come back next week and play for a fridge freezer. The Right Honourable Chris Grayling MP was at the time Secretary of State for Transport. He opened his ministerial car door and hit Jackie Lou. It's all on video. Watch this. And again. And again. He opened his door, hit the cyclist, and to add insult to injury, he told Jackie Lou that he'd been cycling too far. The passenger gets out and goes to check if he's okay. This is no ordinary car, no ordinary passenger. It's the Transport Secretary, Chris Grayling. But they do shake hands and appear to end on good terms. <laughs> to make matters even worse, Secretary of State, the Right Honourable Chris Grayling, MP, left the scene of the accident. Nice one, Chris. Failing grayling, I think, is what they called him. Have you ever heard of the Dutch Reach? Have you ever heard of the Dutch Reach? No. Ever heard of the Dutch Reach? No. Have you ever heard of the Dutch Reach? No. Have you ever heard of the Dutch Reach? I don't want one, mate. <laughs> <laughs> if you open your car door using the Dutch Reach, then you're opening your car door. Like a boss. It's, the one and only G. No it certainly would have been better for Chris Failing Grayling to have been in the habit of using the Dutch Reach. It's probably worth you doing it as well, and me. But let's face it, it hasn't taken off here. Not yet, not really. Between you and me, the real problem for cyclists isn't people not using the Dutch Reach. The real problem for cyclists is kangaroos. Kangaroo.